I have examined the maps of the city with the greatest care, yet never again found the Rue d'Ocile. These maps have not been modern maps alone, for I know that names change, yet it remains a humiliating fact that I cannot find the house, the street, or even the locality where during the last months of my impoverished life as a student of metaphysics, I heard the music of Erikson. Voila, monsieur. A real bargain at 15 sous a month. Ah, remind me to repair that. Was he playing too loud for you? No, it wasn't the volume that bothered me, Monsieur Blando. It was the way he played. It was quite unlike anything I'd ever heard before. Would you say his name is? Eric Zahn. He's a uh, strange old eccentric. Can't talk, and he plays evenings in some gauche symphony. It sounds as if he lives directly above me. Ah, oui. He lives up there all alone because he likes to perform late at night, as I guess you found out. Well, he lives at the very top where you see everything. Ah, monsieur, up there, the city looks fantastic. What I could charge for that view. How do you do, sir? My name is Charles Dexter Ward. I live in the apartment below you. Well, please forgive my boldness, but I've heard you practice every night for a week now, and your music fascinates me. I wonder, would you allow me to sit in on one of your rehearsals?
Bravo, Herzan. Excellent. But I wonder, would you be good enough to honor request? I'd like to hear that rather peculiar piece you practice at night. I, I believe it goes something like... <whistles> <gasps> enough to unhand me, and I shan't bother you any longer. I like for you to listen to my music but I cannot play my other music for anyone, or can I hear it from anyone. I did not know you hear me at night. I will have Blando to move you to lower floor and pay the more rent for you so you sleep. I am old, lonely man. I am not well, my nerves suffer. I ask forgive for me. Will we be friends? We will be friends. I'll leave you now. You, you must be tired. Shall I call on you tomorrow? Good night, Herzog. There now was no one on the floor below Zahn whose eagerness for my company I soon found out was not as great as it had seemed. My liking for him did not grow, but his weird harmonies and lonely attic room haunted me many a sleepless night. Hazan, are you all right? Open the door.
has on. And I recall that there was no wind, and that the moon was out, and that all the lights of the city twinkled. Despite my most careful investigation, I have never since been able to find the Rue d'Ossile. But I am not wholly sorry, either for this or for the loss of the closely written sheets in Undreamable Abyssus, which alone could have explained the music of Eric Zahn. <laughs> 